Day two, six o'clock. We're supposed to leave like right now. Want to film during like this time. It gets lighter quicker here in Tennessee. Didn't account for that. Really should be pulling up there right now. So we're going to go. Um, want to try to capture everything this morning given all the problems we're gonna have. On the phone with mom, see if she's got any ideas. So I'm thinking this morning we can go and get B-roll shots, supporting shots to go over him while he's talking or while I'm talking. We'll go get shots of the pigs, shots of the systems, and then we were also going to interview him. Yeah, I see. I've looked at, I guess, where do I, how do I find that? Looking it up, it was like, you cannot tow with this vehicle. So I was just like, uh, you know, like you can't rent a car to tow with. They don't really like that. figure out Rebecca so I just called U-Haul and we just rented a box truck and a tow dolly and they'll let us and they're letting we can go us. pick it up we don't have to bring our van no and we're picking it up at okay. four o'clock this afternoon yeah. and I guess then we'll load the car on it and get it ready to go pick up pigs tomorrow we'll drive the box truck to pick up pigs fix the van <laughs> windows roll down yeah we're gonna roll the windows down and this is amazing light right now as we pull up. Sun rising. Hey, you the mascot? How you doing? Aren't you supposed to be guarding somebody? Huh? Good morning. How you doing? This is a beautiful morning. It is. Seriously, dog. Well, I'll get some shots here, and then when you do, when you go to do chores, let me know. I'll get okay. some shots. Yeah, yeah, no problem. trying to get b-roll shots in here and these pigs they ain't having it <laughs> hey cliff did your piglets stay in here they did i switched out the charger uh -huh. but i don't know we might go down here and find something else <laughs> oh jeez. i was gonna say those pigs are probably not supposed to be right there are those the ones that we thought stayed in <laughs> yeah those are them Cliff went to get feed. We heard that side by side, pigs came running. It's crazy to think that in the Appalachians, there used to be pig drovers that used to drive hogs all the way down to the plantations and the cotton farms. All, every year, millions of them. That might not be the place you want to go, little piglets. Well, maybe you do. You gonna put them in with the big guy? Yeah. Come on, piggy. Pig, pig, pig. Come on, follow your nose. What are you going to do to keep these guys in? Just another puzzle piece. <laughs> Usually all my piglets are trained at birth because their mama's in an electric pen and then they go okay. and everybody gets hit. But. My mentor brought these over uh, to raise out the other day, and I felt so sad. I was like, oh, they weren't trained, trained to electric. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered too that that's their dad. Kermit's their dad. Oh, they're yeah. all back together. Yeah, maybe they'll be happier. <laughs> so they got in back with dad. Yeah. The fence is hitting hard. The fence is hitting eight thousand right now. Good lord. So I don't know. They're brave, brave or stupid. Come on, girls. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Well, this is how they hauled the pigs to the market. These pigs are going anywhere you... Well, that's what you want to do. You want to get them to where they go anywhere you go. My name's Cliff Davis. I'm from Summertown, Tennessee. I operate two businesses, Spire Ridge Permaculture, which is an education and design business, and Pig and Leaf, which is a local farm to table farm. Well, I bought a clear cut piece of land and the uh, succession started growing back so fast, all of the trees and shrubs and thorns. And I was out trying to chop it down and establish food for us, like they say in the books and videos. And I realized I needed some help. So I 
hired, I bought some help and those were in three feeder pigs. And then I butchered those pigs myself and then I kind of fell in love with the whole process. Manure. Yep. Yeah, so you just play with it with a stick, you know? And that, so that I don't see any worm, there, you know, if, you, if it had worms in it, the bad worms, round worms, it'd be all over it. There's a little bit of food scrap in it. Looks like things are pretty broken down pretty well. Um, if it were real hard, mm -hmm. um, that means they're probably dehydrated or okay. they're not getting enough water. Mm -hmm. And then if it's real runny, that means they've probably got some so if, some prop. Now their poop will be runnier if you feed them um, a mash, <laughs> but it has to be strategic. Hey, get. Go on. <laughs> when it comes, hey. This one is the curious one. Yeah, he is now. Oh, they've run out of food again. Okay, I think we're almost done, so. You're gonna get your seat. These tea heard the bucket. We could walk and talk. So they all one. ran up, look. Let's walk and talk with this one. <laughs> oh, what'd you do? Is that you. pork? I got you some goodies. Okay. So arugula, lettuce. Thank you. So, these were cut. <laughs> these were cut by the butcher. They didn't. Nice. They didn't. Um, yeah. Well. Get them. Sort of nice. I like to cut that off and just fry it in. It. Yeah. There you go. So you can see the the quality of the marbling. Yeah. That's that's why I've went through three different sets of hogs to find. There you go. Thank you. That's our gift. Look at that. Look at that Beautiful. nice stamp. So if people are local, they can go to Pig and Leaf. That's right. And get from you. Yep. And then all the non-local people can maybe come and take advantage of your workshop. That's right. Okay. At SpiralRidgePermaculture.com? That's right. Okay. All right. Well, we got to go home tomorrow. And U-Haul is going to help us. That's what we decided, right, Rebecca? Yep. A, a, a U-Haul box truck with a dolly to tow our car. Is it a trailer, Rebecca, or a dolly? Because they have trailers, too. This is taking forever. Like We've been here an hour, hour probably. What time is it? We switched to a flat tow, a trailer. We've been here like 45 minutes. The pigs are gonna be more comfortable flat and we can actually turn that trailer around. Yeah. First impression? <laughs> okay, so we're going over here to the gas station. Let's figure out what side it's on. I don't know, what side is the gas on? Oh, it usually tells you. It should be very well on it's your on side. It's on to the left side. This is easy compared to the bus, honey. <laughs> I was oh, like, oh, we have to do this again. But then Justin and Ashley reminded me that this is going to be easy. That, my friends, was a dream ride. It's like driving a sports car compared to driving a 40 foot school bus for the van. That you can back up if you need this with this flat tow trailer. You can, you can actually reverse. So, what we're going to do is hopefully our van starts. Back it up. Pull the system in, load the van, be pointed in that direction for an early departure tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around. Okay. Back way up to that trailer. Oh shoot. What? It's dead. Shoot. Wait, no. Come here. What? It's dead. Not turn it over though. Okay, do it again. Okay. Wait, Turn the thing because I want to see what this this is saying something. Okay. D3. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't turning over. That was weird. Yeah, it's acting real weird. Just gotta remember to breathe. Because this is crazy. I'm not used to mirror backing. That was a challenge. Let's get it on this thing. That way, that way, Go. that way. Oh, that. There you go. Come on. Hey, Justin. Ah. Come check out this back. You can't get out. This back tire is not on good. No, it's, it's not to, good it's a, You gotta somehow back up a tiny bit and go a little bit. Hey Decker! Hey Dog! Decker! Now you're a 
tight on this side. Now straighten, now straighten yourself up. Come straight forward. No, 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 just come all the way forward. No, no, we're just going to see if we can get it up. Ashley and I walked away for a little bit and they got it all figured out. How do you make it go the other way? Oh, Lord Hemmer. Put it inside. Go inside, Justin. Oh, I thought you were going out the window. Go inside. Oh. Woo! Y'all. Well, no. we got insurance on the trip. You get enough dudes. Oh, look, see, it's got a little something right there. We probably could have uh... taken that off. Oh, oh I, I wonder if it does this. Off. It does this right here. That's how you get out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give it to two dudes enough here. time we would have figured it out? We are back at Ashley and Decker's, our host. You guys see this? See what we got from Cliff? A little bit of fat on that. Ashley, what are you going to make with this? We are going to pan fry these pork chops in the cast iron and then finish them off in the oven. We're gonna do some butternut squash and also some salad from Cliff. Okay, nice. Yeah. First, we're gonna render that. So that is gonna go in the pan to render some lard to fry them in. Okay, Decker, we're starting gas. 